environmental protection under the law of tort in the law of torts effective remedies exist in this branch of law to tackle the problem of environmental pollution for this there are mainly under the three categories of torts are made means under these three categories are there in the tort nuisance negligence and strict liability the law of torts allows the plaintiff to sue for the damages including exemplary damages or for an injunction or a both in tort there are three categories first is nuisance nuisance means the law of tort recognizes two categories of nuisance in nuisance also there are two categories in it there are two nuisances private and public nuisance private nuisance means it is that kind of a nuisance in which a person's use or enjoyment of his property is ruined by another means such a nuisance in which the person suffers privately it is known as private nuisance second is a public nuisance it is an unreasonable unwarranted or unlawful interference with the right common to the general public means because of that nuisance whole public or a mass of people suffers such a nuisance is known as public nuisance public nuisance is an act affecting the public at a large and it interferes with the rights of the public negligence where there is a failure of the duty to take care and this results in the environmental pollution a suit can be filed for the tort of negligence negligence is a civil tort when occurs when a person breach his duty of a care which he owed to the another due to which that person suffers some legal injury negligence it can be explained as the failure of a discharge or the omission to do something due to the careless behavior means the act which happens due to the negligence means without taking the due care or because of the careless behavior the act happens such an act is known as negligence here we have seen the provisions related to the environmental protection under the law of tort from that we have seen the negligence and nuisance third is the strict liability